There we go. There we go. gonna make me watch an advert to see my own live stream okay I'll turn the sound off though I have my own stream open and on my tablet so that I can see any chat that pops up but mainly I'm just gonna be sitting here drawing so if you feel like coming and chilling out with me please do Where do I share this to? Facebook. Facebook, I think. And also Twitter. Because I have a art Twitter now. It's weird that you can't share streams to a group or a page rather, not a group. I meant a page. I'll share it on Twitter too. If I can change accounts, that is. This is proving to be more difficult than I had. <laughs> anticipated. I'm sorry about that. This is actually taking me ages to set up as well because it's just been difficult. But I'm so ready to start drawing. I say start drawing. I've already started this one, quite obviously. Um, the outer bricks are all inked. I just need to do the parts that I'm doing with this pen and ink. But that's what we're doing today. That's what I was supposed to do a while ago, but ain't that the way of life? the YouTube app so I can see what I'm doing. Where are my gloves? I'm doing that one. Over here. Okay. I can see that it says I've got two viewers just now so if you want to say hi, drop a little hi in the chat. Let me know that you're here. But if not, you know, don't worry about it. We can just chill. Time to actually start drawing. Let's see if I can move this a little so you can see everything that I'm doing. Possibly not, but hey ho. We'll start with the top of the door. Hi there, hi people in the chat, yay, it's good to see you. Sorry if it takes me a little while to get to see your messages, I think the tablet I have the chat open on is running a little slowly. But that's fine, we're not in a hurry. I 
should probably have started over here actually because I need to draw a bunch of plants over here and I don't want there to have wet ink under my hand. You know, when you're drawing you should start top to bottom and then furthest away from your dominant hand. So for me that's left to right, but if you're left-handed, start on the right, you know? Just so you don't end up smudging ink everywhere. Yeah, okay, I'm going to skip over here and do these instead. I had actually intended to stream this on Twitch, but I could not get the app to work at all. I'm using my phone as a camera right now, but it just, I don't know. I don't know if I just was, there was some obvious thing wrong that I couldn't get my head around or what, but I could not get Twitch to work for me today, which is why we're doing this here, because I did kind of want to start separating out my art and fashion stuff, but yeah, whatever, it's all mashed together now. You don't have to watch everything. I was going to use a much thinner pen for this. Whoops. Well, I'll start it now. Should I switch to the thinner pen anyway? Ah, drat. Yeah, I will. I'll switch to the thinner pen. Share this. Share the thing. I've got Facebook open, so I'm going to see if I can share the stream over there. Yeah, is that a good idea? Share on a group. No, no, nope, that's wrong. Share in a page. Let's see, drawing live. There, okay, that should let people know that we're here. Although there's eight of you here just now, so. Thank you for being here. I'm glad you found me. Were you guys just on YouTube anyway? Or did you see my post on Twitter? Now that I have a proper Twitter account that's for my art and stuff, I'm a little excited about it. If you're curious about following that, it's just Grey Velvet Art on Twitter. The same, as, same name as my art Instagram account. Weird drawing in silence, but I don't want to put on music in case I get copyrighted. Well, I don't suppose it matters too much, but truthfully, while I'm drawing, I more often listen to podcasts or watch other streamers. So I don't really know what kind of music I'd want to put on while I'm drawing right now.
Hello there. I hate the blossom. Thank you for being here. Podcasts. Um, my favourite podcast is The Creek Dive. I've listened to them since they, not since they first first started, but pretty close, pretty close. They're not exclusively a true crime thing, although they do cover a lot of the same stories, but they also cover urban legends and myths and just sort of strange stories that happened in the news. A lot of it is quite dark, but, you know, it's really just the stranger things that happen in life that they talk about. And I, I like that kind of thing. Oh wait, you can't see what I'm drawing because I turned, I moved the camera higher. Oops, sorry, my bad. I'll scoot this down a little bit. Is that better? What podcasts are you listening to? Let me know. Tell me in the, in the chat. I'm always looking for more stuff. Does this match up? Yes, yes it does. Speedball dip pens. Uh, no, I I don't know. I'm not sure what a speedball dip pen is. Is that a brand or is it a type of pen? These are just deleter. Deleter is the brand. Um, deleter drawing pens. Oh, is Welcome to Night Vale still going? I used to love that, but then I kind of got out of the habit of listening to it. I miss it. If I have a lot to catch up on, I might, I might start listening to it again, because that was, that was really interesting and fun. Hair on the end of my pen. Kind of frustrating. There, got it. The writer is, but the one that was originally scheduled is the last one with Cecil. Oh, that's a shame. Are they retiring that character as well then, or are they just getting a different voice for him? Be 
speed bowlers are brand. And it comes with a thick and thin handle. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm going to Google that later. I'm always keen to buy new pens. Oh, he's just not going on the tours. I see, I see. there. Thank you for joining us. Little Peach Bunny, I know you've just joined, but we were talking about podcasts and what our favourites are because I normally listen to podcasts while I'm drawing but obviously I can't do that while I'm streaming so do you have a favourite? let us know I feel like I want to be making these stones more cracked looking. But mm, I'm not sure. The ones around them are all pretty roughed up. I think maybe these ones should be quite smooth. So they look stronger. Oh, Jenna and Julian are fun. I haven't listened to a lot of their podcasts, but of course I watch Jenna's videos. I have seen their conspiracy theory podcasts. Hey, hey, Grace Gladden, thank you for joining us. Spontaneous things, hmm? That's a good question. You shaved your head, <laughs> that is pretty cool. I don't know if there's much um, spontaneous stuff that I've really done. Nearly everything I do, I think about for quite a while first. I'll think on it. I'll let that thought gestate in the back of my brain and let you know if I think of anything. Hey, hey. Fair Folk, a podcast about folklore and music. That does sound good. That would be pretty cool.
I'm just now realizing that live streaming my art was completely opening myself to have better artists than me watch what I'm doing. So don't judge me too harshly, please. How you're not usually a spontaneous person. I mean, has it worked out well for you? Has having shaved your head better, made your life better? I've always kind of wanted to shave my head at least once in my life. But I really only just started getting my hair to grow out properly, so... I'm kind of on the opposite mission right now. <laughs> Harsh judgment. No! That's the opposite of what I wanted. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready to watch me draw several hundred tedious little leaves because this whole side of the page here is supposed to be plants. And this corner down here that's cut off is also supposed to be um, all plants as well. I probably won't draw all the plants on live stream. I'll do a little bit up here and then I'll start inking the actual characters and doing the interesting parts. And then later on tonight, I'll just go back to drawing leaves on my own. But yeah, plants. YouTube made me review that comment. That was really weird. I've never seen that um, pop up before where it says, this comment has been held for review. Are you allowing this sort of language on your live stream? And I'm like, fuck yeah, I am. Come on. Shaving your head was a good decision. I'm glad. I know a few people who have shaved their heads, like, kind of recently, but also in the past, and they always, always love it. They always say it's a really, really good thing. So, I think it just generally seems like a good thing to do at least once in your life. Oh, oh weird, another message held for review. Show, show the comment. There we go. Old ladies might avoid you or think you have cancer, but that's their problem, isn't it? short hair feels like it grows really fast. The last time I had my hair cut really short, um, I honestly felt like I could feel it growing every single day. Just every day it was a, a centimeter or so longer and I could actually feel it growing. A little bit disturbing. Short hair is a lot of work. Good morning, Alina. Also, yes to the two wolves. One of you wants a 
shaved head and the other one the long hair. Right now I'm siding with the long hair wolf, so that's my mission. Oh, my drawing's gone off the top of the page again. Sorry, sorry. I'll try and keep it on screen. I wish there was a better way of getting the whole page to be visible, but the paper's really big, so I'd have to put the camera really high up. <laughs> <laughs> your sibling has a mullet and you let them cut your hair. That's a bold choice. I'm glad it turned out okay for you though. to trim your fringe. Yeah, I remember doing that. I had a fringe for a little while. I had those um, scissors with a spirit level in them so, so that you're supposed to be able to get your fringe perfectly straight. I probably still have those scissors somewhere. I'll post a picture of them on Instagram if I can find them. Quarantine haircuts. Is that a hashtag yet? I feel like it should be. A J Rock mullet could work. That's that's certainly a a look. Let's put some more cracks on these stairs. I want these stones to look just hecked. It's all fucked up. Okay. <laughs> breakfast. Gosh, is it early for you? Well, go get some breakfast. Thank you for being here. Oh, he's half ginger with no eyebrows. Well, that is certainly a choice. My partner also has no eyebrows now because of the during quarantine decisions. I wonder how many people out there have shaved their eyebrows. <laughs> F in the chat. That's true. If you make a decision that looks terrible right now, no one really has to see it. Because even if you have to go out to the shops or something, you can put on a mask and then no one will know that it's you, right? Oh, another message held for review. How exciting. You're all getting saucy today. Show, show me the message. There we go. Your friend shaved a slit into her eyebrow and her dad told her she was ugly. Oh no. That is a cool look. A few people have done that and it's a good look. If they're not back by then, you'll have to draw them on.
Oh, you did you did that the eyebrow slit thing. I think it's a cool look. I never really do anything with my eyebrows. Maybe I should. I should probably stop drawing this part here because I want to switch pens for this guy and I don't want to have wet ink under my hand. Time to switch pens. Mm, I can imagine you have to shave it back in quite often. I don't think I'd have the patience for that. That's, that's my issue. Painting a lazy frog? Amazing. Where where can we see this lazy frog? Will it be online once it's done? Let us know. Individual hairs. Hmm. I guess that makes sense. I kind of want to sneeze just thinking about it though. Does anyone else find that plucking eyebrow hairs makes you sneeze? Because it does to me. Okay, okay. Now I've got to do the tense part. I hate drawing faces. I hate it. Okay. Please just turn out looking like a face. And relax. It's done. The hard bit is done. Well, for one of them, I still gotta do her face, but you know, whatever I'm here. Now we can go back to the relaxing bit. Please do put it on the Scottish Elitist group for me. I wanna see. <laughs> Pudding Snicket? Hey, hey, what are you, what are you painting? Ghosts? Oh. No, I'm not afraid to stain these gloves because they just get washed whenever they get too dirty. They get paint and ink on them all day, every day. but their main purpose is to keep um, the oil from my skin off the paper so that I can paint easily, more easily. So the, these gloves are not intended to be kept clean.
I should have drawn more details onto the clothes, I think. Is it too late to do that? Hello there, Prague Oddity. Thank you for joining us. I think I'm gonna give this guy a belt, maybe, so that he doesn't look like one big solid. A big solid chunk, <laughs> is that what I mean? I'll give him a belt. Maybe two? Two belts? No, that's too much. It's not a Final Fantasy character. I'm going to give the sort of splits up the middle, like... I've forgotten what it's called when they had the fake sword slashes on medieval clothes. Yeah, that'll do. That's fine. Maybe one here as well, on the top part. Or is that just extra work? Yeah, that's fine. That's good. I should do buttons. I'm going to put buttons down the sides. So buttons down his front would work too. Probably shouldn't be doing this with ink. Should have tested it with pencil, but hey ho, I did not. It's fine. <laughs> Hello. Maybe it is a tiny wee arm coming out of his hip. It's not like some kind of mutant. You don't know. I could be drawing aliens. See, I think living in the country sounds nice in theory, like, there's a lot of things I like about it, like, in theory, but the one time I lived in a rural place I started to go mental, so, <laughs> I don't know. It does sound nice to be able to just go out and wander around a lot right now though, without having loads of other people on your face. I don't really have a favourite historical clothing era, to be honest with you. There's aspects of everything that are nice and aspects of every era that are kind of hideous. And I don't know, I like that um, right now, being in the modern age and all, we can just pick and choose the parts we like. Eighteenth century. That's a solid choice. Okay, is that everything over here? Go. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. 
plus 9. The buttons I literally was just talking about. Exactly, that's what I mean. You could wear a head-to-toe renaissance outfit right now if you wanted. But you could also wear it half and half with completely modern clothes or stuff from any other century or time period and that's fine too. That's the beauty of it. Oh, the corona tourists, yeah. There's been a lot of sort of public service announcements trying to tell posh people not to go to the Highlands right now because, you know, they, they don't have that many medical supplies for everyone that's already there. So having a bunch of extra people on holiday is not going to help anyone. It's a whole thing, but whatever. I'm trying not to think about it right now. Sorry. <laughs> the masonry brings you joy. Thank you. I'm glad. I quite like the look of it again now that I'm not drawing it anymore. it was kind of a pain in the hands. It's annoying to call back the dogs all the time. Oh, I can imagine. I think I'm quite lucky in that my dog doesn't want to socialize with other people really so I don't have to worry about her but a lot of other people around here still aren't bothering to control their dogs like they never have but now it's like well you can't come and restrain your dog because you're gonna get up close to me But you won't keep your little shit on a leash, you know? Okay, okay, I'm gonna draw this face. Everybody breathe in. Good enough. Job done. Everybody unclench and we're fine. Oh, it's not so much that they want to socialise, they run around while playing. Oh, so people don't like that there's dogs playing near them? That's weird. I can't say I've ever encountered that. I 
I usually just make people that are too grabby, you know. I'm going to add some buttons here so that they match again. Now it looks like it was planned all along. so they're not used to it. It's odd though, because, I mean, I don't know where you are, what's normal there, but, you know, I live in a city, but most people still just have their dogs off leash and let them run around doing whatever they want. afraid of dogs attacking their children. Well, then they should teach their children not to antagonize dogs. Is that harsh? <laughs> Don't mind. Oh, this line is really wide. It's okay, that whole section's gonna get blocked in anyway, but mm, that's Bit much, bit much. Yeah, people will leave their dogs off leash. There isn't even a small park here, it's just a kind of river side zone, but the silver's been attacked a couple of times. Should I move the camera down so you can see what I'm drawing again? I'll just move back up to the stairs in a second. I'll be done in a sec. dangerous for the dogs and the people and pretty much everyone involved. I'm going to try not get bogged down drawing too many leaves right now because I don't want everyone to immediately fall asleep but I need to fill in some of them before I can move on I 
also don't want me to immediately fall asleep. <laughs> This is going to take forever. I'm going to draw most of this off camera. When I started drawing this, I decided I was going to draw something that didn't involve drawing hundreds of plants. Because most of my drawings have flowers and all sorts all over them. And then I started drawing the staircases and all the bricks. And realised that I was still going to have to draw hundreds of details. And then, you know, there was loads of plants involved anyway. So, eh, I played myself there. Maybe I'll draw a different type of plant sometimes, just to break it up a little bit. Make it less monotonous. Some I'll find some kind of plant with nice big simple leaves to draw instead of whatever this is that I'm doing. I make this wall cracked? Yeah, yeah, why not? Just make it a little more interesting. There. That should come across as well. Yeah, that's good, that'll do. Moss. I could do moss. That would be so much easier. I might do that on the ground part that's cut off down at the bottom here. It would make my life a lot easier. Oh, the setup is um, quite simple, but I have a tripod with um, a part that kind of tilts so that the camera can be facing down horizontally like the tripod has a hinge on it kind of thing so you can position the camera to be facing down directly and I just have my phone in it and I'm using the YouTube app right now so 
it's kind of just using my phone's camera and microphone and everything. So it's pretty easy. Okay, I'm going to do some long leaves instead, just because I'm starting to lose my brain. I don't know if I'll finish this whole painting tonight I'm, or honestly if it's going to be a painting it might just stay a drawing and I might not paint on it but if it's not finished tonight then I might come back and live stream again tomorrow I've already said that I'm going to finish the actual drawing off camera because I'm going to just have to draw in hundreds and hundreds of plants and I don't want to just be on here all night, you know? It's fun hanging out, but I've got to go and eat and such. So. I think I will finish the drawing later on. And then tomorrow I'll come back and stream again the painting part or the the details, shading and you know whatever I decide I'm going to do to it tomorrow I don't think I'll finish it tonight Eat your veggies. <laughs> I will. I still want to try and get as much of this done as I can though because I have another thing I want to start working on. I've got to get this one done first.
I'm probably going to do quite a lot of the leaves in solid black so I'll use a brush for that and that will be a lot faster and a lot easier but I need to do the under layers of drawn ones first if any of you have seen my other video where I drew the uh, what did I call it? I think it was Diamond's Castle that I drew um, I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did with the plants on that one and that went surprisingly fast honestly it looks a lot it looks really detailed because it is, but it was quite quick to paint. attached to the pen. Eek. Got it. Although that said, I wouldn't have to hurry this one if I do decide to make the next painting I want to work on digital. I could do them side by side. Give me your thoughts on that. Should I do digital next? It's been ages since I did anything, any digital art, I think. Any purely digital art, anyway. I've done quite a few... Um, pen and ink drawings that I coloured digitally and I did that one digital version of a drawing that I did physically first but it's been a while since I did a purely digital drawing so maybe I should do that digital would be nice I'm glad you think so maybe I'd have an easier time streaming that on Twitch because I mentioned earlier that I tried setting this up for Twitch because I wanted to do art stuff on Twitch instead of instead of here but it just I don't know I couldn't make it work so I'll have to look into that but then again if there's enough of you here that like watching me draw I might just keep doing it on YouTube Do digital next then. <laughs> okay, I want to get enough of the plants done before I wrap this up. I'm going to probably stream for at least another 20 minutes or so. Silver gets fed at 5, so that's my deadline. <laughs> and I think I want to paint in the solid black leaves. because then I can leave those to dry for the evening 
and we can come back and pick this up again tomorrow. So hey, heads up if you're going to be around tomorrow afternoon. I might be too. Uh, I can see that, yeah. With digital, you don't really have to worry about messing it up entirely. But I learned to do everything by hand, so I still find digital a little intimidating sometimes because I don't really know how it works properly. I don't know. I guess it's just a learning thing. You hear the claws in the background. I don't know if my phone microphone will be picking that up, but if you can hear the little claws, that's Silver walking around. Okay, okay, I think that's enough of that for now. I'm going to grab a brush and do. the solid black leaves and then I'm going to just going to call it a good one for the day I think a brush or two brushes I'll use two so, uh, wide one for the leaves and a little skinny one for stems Actually, that's thin enough that I could do the stems with this brush too. Score. Saves me washing an extra brush. Ah, so you're just used to digital now? That's pretty cool. Okay, squish, 
how far down this page can you actually see? I might turn up, move the camera a little bit so you can see more of what I'm doing. Just a little. Oh, clunk. There we go. Yes, I mentioned painting my drawings. Um, I just use watercolour. If I do line art like this first, then I just use watercolour over top of it. And that way the lines still show through. enough for today. So if you're curious to see how this one carries on, I will probably finish it tomorrow afternoon, roughly the same time. Thanks for being here. Hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye.